is a hard exterior and then you have the soft basically uh, lining and then you actually have another like a sack right here and uh, I break the sack and the same thing happens with with snakes and stuff like that Monitor socialization. one of the things you want to do is you want to try to see if you can get your little guy to hold his ground when you're just visiting. This one is clearly has no problem. But what I just did a minute ago, the one that was first sitting up, it uh, I was rubbing it underneath its chin. And you really, you just want to give it these little episodes of positive interaction. Let's go see if we can find somebody else. Okay, I'll go to another video. All right, so I have two sitting right there. So I do, so they're walking. All right, so that one just turned away. This one right here is the second one. A little more, that one's confidence, see right there? Okay, good. That's a thread right there, experience. Positive, positive. And I remove myself. The, the ultimate would be if I could remove myself without even causing the animal to move. So this is the one that just first went away, right there. Right. It really, the phone really does bad things. Guys, just do not trust the phone. I can sit here and interact with them, so I don't know. And you. Let's see. Just a little positive episodes. like going, oh, this is a good thing. See that just licks his lips? Really good. This is uh, just little signs now. I've done pretty well on that one. I got this one right here. He wants to, you know, he is going up my arm. But every little possible positive building so I keep putting this animal back knowing that's going to keep on trying to come out so every time it does that you're actually building a bridge because over and over again I'm not touching it and the animal ends up coming out to me it's a positive experience here this other guy on my arm so I can easily take them off back and back out to me. And I repeat the process and you'll see my videos where I have these guys pouring out. It, it takes it takes work to get them like that, but that's really what you want. Another one. Who is sitting on the door super confident? You. You, you look very suspect. Is it you? Did you eat that cricket? I think it was you. You ate my friend Larry. You are a greedy little beast. What you? And you? And you, uh oh, we're gonna start mass exodus. What are you doing? Yep, this is uh, that's a hard one, folks. 
How do you beat this? How? I don't know. What do you say? So when you do get this positive interaction, Donnie told me to shut my fans off. Sorry, Donnie. So when you do have these positive little experiences, you just realize, oh my God, how can these little animals get any better? Well, they only get better when you understand them and you work with them, but their brain and they're just <laughs> Help! Yes. And even when you're, you're messing with these guys, these guys, their objective is not to escape and run mindlessly all over the room. Their objective is to come out and investigate you. Like this one's just hanging out on the door. And you, and you. Why do you know, you have a, is a name? His name is Clark. Name them? Yes, he's wonderful. Do you check and make good Clark. pets, Kevin? They make wonderful pets. I you don't have think lots of pet chicken. So he thinks he's making a dust bath by going into my plant. You don't care what the public may perceive their chicken meat in the store? I don't really care. I know you don't. That's why I respect you. He's our pet. <laughs> and we love him. And I taught all this myself. Not, I didn't even know what I was doing. This was literally, oh, this was literally, let's just, uh, me playing with, with my offspring. You know, making baby water monitors is hard enough. And, oh, I forgot, look at this. I forgot about monitors. Now, I have a monitor in the hallway. I got monitors on me, hi buddy. So you got spooked. I got mom. Okay. So you don't spook him. What are you doing? So if I'm coming out here, I'm just, I got the mom on my shoulder right now. What are you doing? So if you give him a chance, use his brain. I'm towering over. I'm six two. So. Big giant monster, and look at him. That's that's some confidence. Picking himself up, just kind of wandering, not doing a mindless scurry. This is actually all good training, too. Hi, buddy. What are you doing? So then you show him your hands. Watch. Because I, he gets security from me. You see that? That was just literal proof. I do have a monitor on my back somewhere. There's a monitor coming down. Here from the other cage. Very exciting to you. So we'll do the same thing. We'll take this guy. We'll put you on the ground. <laughs> Right here. Come here. See this? Hand. Comfort. I'm I'm nervous and I'm gonna respond. What are you doing? Come on. Come here. Come here. Giant monster. Amazing little dinosaur. You. See? No flinching. So if I go over here, I'll fail. Give me here. Oh, buddy. Loves, loves the hand because the hand is so used to me rubbing them and uh, interacting with them so this is this is comfort
Yeah. You're just incredible. How can you be a lizard and be this ridiculous? I don't know. So, we just kind of showed a little bit. Monitor. Interaction. I'm just trying to get this guy out of my back. They'll just hang down off me. I know. What was I thinking? Jerk. You put me away. No. Quick. They are heated up, so we keep them pretty hot. Alright, guys, you're awesome. Say goodbye. Quick, shut up. I was being it was like, hi, Johnny. Hi, Johnny. Hi, Kevin. Hello, losers. Hi, Emily. Hi, Daddy. <laughs> what are you guys doing? <laughs> um. Dude, oh, Connor, you're it. Oh, my you're it. <laughs> yeah, he took his shirt off. You just want an excuse to take your shirt off. Put your shirt back on. All right. Playing with baby dwarf caiman as they're hatching. They can be a little dramatic when they hatch. So the egg has a hard exterior, and then you have the soft, basically, uh, lining. And then you actually have another, like a sack, right here. And uh, break the sack. And the same thing happens with, with snakes and stuff like that. So I'll just put them fly. Okay. Distracting people with attention deficit disorder like me. So. So these, these noises that they're making, this is basically the bond that the mother and the babies would have. So prior to these guys hatching, I, can, uh, I went over and just visited my incubator and I can hear them. Uh, I just visit the box and kind of tap the box a little bit and today was the first day I got noise back so uh, they're you know incredibly vulnerable so in the wild you know predators would just be an endless list of what can uh, hurt these guys so I hatch these guys and Yes, very dramatic. So they'll do this at first. Okay, here we go. Let's see that. See that right there. So let's sit there and do that until you can break this. There you go. Oh yes, I picked the right forceps on this one. And you guys are sleep stacks. You guys have to like keep talking. Stop. I think my Cayman is giving me a more intelligent look than what you're giving me right now. <laughs> Jerk. Oh yes. Oh, there we go. There we go. We got some dramatics. So they'll sit there. They can't even differentiate from one another. All right. There we go. That was a little. See, they're biting each other and doing stuff like that. Can you guys get me another? Another bin like that. Thank you. So we have a lot of a lot of fear. Oh goodness. Yes, sir. Alright. Let's just give it a rest. Think. Okay. So this one right here is convinced. 
that were horrible monsters. Are you gonna give me any water in them? I want a new film crew. For the five cents that I'm paying you, I am very <laughs> unhappy with my <laughs> my production staff here, or my filming staff. Okay. So there, there are 14 eggs. So you want to always make sure that. Oh, there we go. I like to leave them sticking out of the egg, even though they won't stay sticking out of the egg. But, because that's probably one of the, the, the most spec spectacular parts of, of all this, is when they're just coming out of the egg. It's so dramatic to me. Flexing. It's probably, you know, birth is probably pretty tough. So that's empty, that's empty. Oh, we got somebody. Here it comes. Oh, look at that. You, you biting each other and helping. That's universal effort. Ah, no, don't do that. All right, come here. So, uh, See right there's a little umbilicus right here. And uh, this is pretty good. These guys have really absorbed much of the yolk. So there's very little inside. There actually look. Look how many times you get to see the insides of a dwarf cayman egg. Not very often. And you're a trouble. I, I can't believe that I'm flinching. That's so pathetic. They do have little teeth. To work with each one of you and try to reprogram you to think that people are your real parents. Okay. Well, let's see, we're almost there. 14 eggs. There we go. Look at you. Wow, I think, I think we did pretty good. This one, there we go, we got signs of life right there. So, I would say. I learned a new animal to uh, regurgitate the mate when. Uh, mantis fly. What, what's a mantis fly? Mantis fly is like, yeah. has like the front arms of like a praying mantis, right. but it's basically a, a fly, so it's a, Predatory fly that is uh, not like a house fly, so you gotta kind of think it's, it might be more like a like a wasp, but it's actually its own thing. But if you're into bugs, which I love bugs, that is always uh, a prize when you can find one of those. But it's pretty small, so you can eat things like uh, mosquitoes and deer flies and stuff like that. What's it do that makes it so cool? Because it's, it's just a fly. Tip. I love praying mantises. And oh. I 